All right, it's the uh, 30th September out here on a nice but windy day, so hopefully the audio quality is not going to suffer too much. Um, we're looking at the grain truck in the bin, which is oats, but prior to that, earlier today, I was trying to start combining the, the beans out here, but they're still a little too green, so I backed the combine back into the uh, shed. I did one round around the outside, and there are too many green beans, and not quite dry enough so it's supposed to be nice for the next week should dry down then I'll combine those what you're looking at here is the grain truck it holds what it turns out 800 bushels of oats 32 pounds a bushel so when full it's 24 odd thousand pounds um, it's a 1981 international 2600 we've got it um, just about where we want it except for the cab so we redid the suspension, the tires are good, the drivetrain's good, the bed's good, and the only thing that's not good, I don't know if you can see, the uh, mount, right? <laughs> so that I-beam is holding the cab up, but not great. So that's next to get replaced. ASAP. It's good for a little while, but not long term. And we've I've welded a couple other cross struts in there, so it's not as horrible as that looked. But um, oh, and we put a new transmission in Eaton. Shell right up there, the one shiny new thing. An eight-speed Eaton transmission. the bed up and etc etc it had a lift tag on it but in uh, Indiana where I bought this truck from that's legal but the third lift tag axle right here it's not legal in Wisconsin it is but the length of the ratio was off in any event um, I mentioned 800 bushels at a time so what you're looking at in here is the power sweep is there it makes its way around sucks grain to the center of the bin and then it goes down under the floor there's an auger under the floor that comes out here. Vertical unload auger. It gets dumped into the back of the truck. So this would be the second load. Dad took one down today, 60 miles away. There's a buyer of conventional oats, which is what these are. They're non-GMO. They weren't sprayed, but in transition ground, it's a three-year transition period until you can sell your production as organic. So the first two years, what we've done in the past is plant clover underneath and then oats are seeded on top with the idea that we'll take the oats off and sell them and get a little bit of money back from that uh, process. So these are the oats. It's called, uh, the, rain, the variety is Rains from, I think, South Dakota. And they're supposed to be a good test weight oat. These are 34.5 pound test weight. Uh, the standard bushel is 32. The food grade places that are around want 36 pound oats, or they'll really dock you. I think they even dock you at 36. And I want 38. Grain millers out of Minneapolis with their plant in Iowa, St. St. Anne's, or same, somewhere in northeastern Iowa, they want 38 pound oats. So number one, it couldn't meet that standard. Number two, is too far to truck. Um, Found a place, Prairie Ag Supply, Menominee, Menominee, Wisconsin. They sell to, uh, they have a calf feeder operation. They're 60 miles away, $3 a bushel. Um, so 10 cents a pound is what I get for these oats. There's a tiny bit of rust on them, but they've accepted the first load. They said this is acceptable. There's no vomitoxin as far as they're concerned. Oh, some peas were in the bin too. Or in the auger probably but um, my sample's clean I mean it's, it's good looking grain so the auger dumps it in here and then I would climb in here in the bed up this ladder and use this concrete rake to um, smooth out the piles and the humps and then this tarp gets rolled over the top and I'll drive it down uh, tomorrow and um, unload it there so it's been, uh, this new transmission, it's easier to float the gears in it than the old transmission, which was really struggling. Um, 
it's a learning curve, but I think I've got a handle on it um, between the clutch, using the tapping the clutch a little bit, tapping the you know keeping the RPMs of the engine just right, and you can slip in and out of gears. I might link to a a gear floating video, but um, yeah, the beans are next. Um, like I said, it's going to be a warm, a good week here for them to dry down. You see a few weeds out there, pig's weed, pig weed and lamb's quarter. But you also see some yellow, and that's the beans aren't quite, you know, even the stems are still yellow. So I'm, I'm hoping they'll dry down by the end of the week, and um, I can combine them. And um, then those will get down, truck down to Cashton, or Broadus, or Broadhead, I think it's called, where they have Cashion Farm Supply buys organic beans. So all in all, I mean, it's a really nice day. Uh, thanks for watching. This is a part of the process of, uh, well, I get to do a lot of cool stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't really pay any money. Um, it's not the way of the world. If you want to do something beneficial, you don't really get paid. <laughs> well, I'm not happy. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.